uh, I think you should treat trading more like a business where you have to put a lot of work into it, a lot of discipline, and you're not going to see profits since the beginning. You know, you have to keep trying, you have to fail, you have to do everything in order for you to, to see the results, to see the success. And welcome back to another TFT interview. Today we have a guest who comes all the way from Albania, Marcel, who received already two payouts from us. Hello, Marcel, and welcome. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and what got you into trading? Yes, sure. Uh, my name is Marcel. I came from Albania. I am 23 years old and I got into trading about two years and a half ago. I saw trading first on the internet and all I was seeing at the time was profits everywhere. Everybody was sharing profits and I thought it was interesting, you know? So yeah. and I told to myself, why not? Why can I just give it a try, you know? I went home, I opened YouTube and I was I started to to see videos so I could learn more about it and here I am now. <laughs> That's perfect. So can you tell us a little bit about your learning journey? Uh, what did you learn? If you did, you join any communities? Did you have a mentor, or you learned everything by yourself? No, not not really. I didn't have any mentor. Uh, all that I learned was by myself, mm -hmm. uh, just uh, searching on YouTube, uh, asking people around where I found better stuff to watch. Mm -hmm. and because some of the things that say it on the internet are not true or are too old. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I just keep scrolling kept scrolling and that's when I got to my main strategy that I'm using now. Okay. And what did you struggle with the most during your trading journey and how did you overcome the struggles? Uh, in the beginning, I was struggling understanding the, the strategies, mm -hmm. uh, the charts, because I was not used to it. Uh, and then when I started learning them, the strategies that I was using at the time were all wrong. No, I was losing money and I blow two accounts. <laughs> so <laughs> then, then I started to doubt myself if I'm for this thing or no. And my parents, they, they said to me that keep going, maybe something will change in the future, you know? Yeah. And I just kept going. That's amazing, actually. It's great to have support from your close ones. Yes, yes. Because and the then, mindset is very important in trading. Yes. As that's for sure. Yeah. Because I think if you don't have a mindset for it, you're just gonna to, you're just not going anywhere. Yeah. Like, and it's important to be optimistic, especially at the beginning when you're just losing money and you don't see any results. <laughs> yes. It it's it requires because, a strong personality, a strong mindset. Yes, because they your friends, your parents even they will tell you that you're not doing anything. Maybe and they maybe will laugh at you. Yeah, you lost money, and that's that's the most hard feeling, <laughs> you know. Yeah. they're laughing at you and not believing. I think yeah. that's why it's important to believe in yourself. Yes, always. And have the goal and just focus on yourself and your progress. That's yes, yes, for sure. How did you find TFT, and how is your experience with us? I found TFT from my friend, to be honest. He told me about you. He was using your platform before. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told me that you were too good on the payouts and everything. And I said, okay, I took it, his advice and it's going great. You know, I received my second payout uh, last week. Mm -hmm. So everything is cool. <laughs> Congratulations. How much was your okay. payout? Uh, my second payout was about 1,000. It's not that much, but it's a good start, you know? Yeah, of course. Everything is good. <laughs> And what account sizes do you have? I have uh, a one hundred thousand dollars account. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. W what is your goal with uh, with us? Are you targeting to? Are do you want to reach the max allocation? Yes, sure. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> Who does more, okay. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, would you like to like share with us your strategy and uh, show us how you do the analysis? Yeah, sure. Sure. Uh, I use as my main strategy the smart money concept mm -hmm. using order blocks. So I can just show you. So 
uh, I am in one track right now that I took earlier. Uh, I didn't do a bit of too much <laughs> of stop loss because I feel comfortable with that. And this is one of my trades that I took about uh, three hours ago. I'm turning up to take profit right now. And would you like to show us how you how you do the analysis and how you choose your entries, your stop loss, and your targets? Yes, sure. Uh, so I took this entry because. I saw on an opportunity uh, right here for me. Uh, I'm not sure I said it. It's an order block that it, that was sitting over here mm -hmm. at this place. I waited for it to have a break of this structure, mm -hmm. and when it came back up, uh, I took the entry. Mm -hmm. you know, and I just uh, let it run uh, till now. Mm -hmm. That is showing on profits. Mm -hmm. And is... uh, do you execute on the one hour time frame, or you go? Yes, I execute my trades on my. Uh, one one hour time frame. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but I do my analysis on the daily, mm -hmm. on the daily four hours, and then I execute in one hour. Maybe okay. sometimes, sometimes at fifteen minutes, but rarely. Okay. And how do you choose where to put the stop loss and where to put your target? Sometimes uh, I wait for a grab of liquidity to mm -hmm. use as my uh, as my stop loss. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, yeah, that's <laughs> that's it. I just use a. Uh, I just wait maybe for a grab of liquidity, and uh, that's what I use for a stop loss. Okay. Maybe. And how do you choose the target profit? Target profit, I use. Uh, the last zone that that needs to break you know mm -hmm. that's what i use as a as a take profit and do you manage the trade um actively or you just use limits and then you walk away from the charts no, no. Uh, sometimes i use them both i use uh, the, uh, the limits and sometimes i take it by myself it mm -hmm. depends maybe sometimes I am busy and I don't have the time yeah. to, to be on the charts and I just leave the order there. So when it's get there, it fills and the order opens. Sometimes when I have time, I just I'm on the charts and I take it. And uh, yeah, and do you uh do you take partials? Uh I don't like them. I, I take partials, but I think that it's maybe to take profit or stop loss. <laughs> No partials. And do you, put, do you put your stop loss to break even? No, never. Okay, so you're either win or a loss. <laughs> yes. Okay. And do you have any minimum requirements for risk to reward? One to five, one to four. That's my minimum, maybe. Sometimes, sometimes one to three, but one to five, one to four. That's my ratio. Okay. Yeah. So, so can you show us how you start from the daily and you drop down to one hour? Yes, just a moment. So this is the daily time frame mm -hmm. that we see that we are downtrend here, but uh, the major the major trend is uptrend, mm -hmm. and I just I just use a daily to see what trend we are in mm -hmm. actually. So we are on a downtrend. Then I go to the four hours to get more information about the markets, mm -hmm. you know? and then maybe I mark the zones that I need to. And if I have if I have a Maybe an entry. I go to the one hour and try to find the order block there on okay. the one hour, like I have done here, for example. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you, are you waiting? So, you are waiting for the price to come into premium in order to sell, right? Yes, for to buy. Mm -hmm. And so you, this is what I use as an order block, and I put my stop loss just uh, to support the gap of liquidity that was happening here. Mm -hmm. Yes. So first you wait you wait for the grab of liquidity and then you enter. Yes. I I wait for it. Maybe maybe it's not a grab of liquidity at all, you know? Yeah. And sometimes I am wrong, everybody is wrong. But this is my strategy. I use um everything that I've learned from the years of the expert. But this is my main uh smart money concept and I use all the books as my answers. Yeah. And what do you define as grab of liquidity? Is it like a rejection candle like the one that we see on the charts at the moment? Yes. The rejection candle. So that didn't close above this this right here. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what I use as a grab of liquidity. And you're just about to hit your target. <laughs> yeah, I'm just about amazing. By the end of the interview, you're going to have it. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. okay, perfect. So from what I could see, you are a day trader, right? Yes, day trader. Okay. And have you tried like swing trading, scalping before? Yes. 
Uh, scalp, you know, because I think it's more like gambling. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion on that. But I tried swing trading uh, when I started when I first started trading. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, cryptocurrencies were just going up and up and up, you know. And uh, as a as a beginner, mm -hmm. uh, I just opened the position. Maybe sometimes I didn't put any stop loss in there, you know. <laughs> I just I let the trade go on, and I hope it's like, please, please, God, just, just make it go off, you know. And I just let it for three days, for a week, for two weeks, until it, it was blue. Oh my God! Yeah. So this, this is my story about uh, swing trading. Yeah. So. You said that you started first a little bit with retail strategies and then you started yeah. with SMC. When did your trading get to the next level? After how long time from the beginning? One year and a half. Well, One year and a half. Since I first started, yes. And how long yeah. time was uh, have you been learning SMC before you, you saw some results? About four months. So after four months, you started seeing results already? Not after four months. Uh, I started learning it about CMC on uh, July, mm -hmm. I think. And about, yes, that's, that's about it. That was it. About uh, four months. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And how is your psychology towards trading? Uh, I think you should treat trading like a, like a business where you have to put a lot of work into it, a lot of discipline and you're not going to see profits since the beginning. You know, you have to keep trying, you have to fail, you have to do everything in order for you to, to see the results, to see the success in yeah. it, you know? So for me, for me, you have to be patient in order for you to, to make profits. Uh, you just can't let it happen. Yeah. Right. And what have you done to improve your psychology? Your, be honest with you, uh, I haven't done anything. I just, uh, I just, I have improved it with my experience. You know, mm -hmm. every day uh, I see maybe when I when I take a wrong trade, mm -hmm. I sit onto my computer and I analyze what I did. I what did I do wrong, mm -hmm. and I try to make it better. You know, the next time that I that I go to trade. And how are you dealing with the losing streak? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> to be honest, you know, <laughs> even if I don't, even if I don't, uh, if even if I don't make a win in a week, I don't care, you know. I know that I'm going to to make it the other week, so yeah. <laughs> so just go with it, you know. It's sometimes, sometimes you, you just you, you you just can take it, <laughs> just can take a win trade, you know. Yeah, and haven't you ever felt like FOMO or yes, um, every day, <laughs> every day, every day? But that's the difference. You know, from that's the difference of the experience. If you have, if you have been dealt with these problems before, then I think that uh, that you should react the right way to it. That you you don't have to FOMO, you don't have to panic because you have put a stop loss in there. Yeah. And, uh, and the worst that can happen is not going to hit the stop loss, and that's all. You know, you just go to the next trade, or you just go outside and enjoy the sun. Yeah. That's yeah. true. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what would you tell to yourself if you were about to start now with the experience you have at the moment? I would say to myself, take it easy, mm -hmm. you know, be patient and everything will come with work. And that's, that's all because at the beginning I was just like, okay, I, I want to make money. I was watching everything on Instagram. Everybody was showing about 2,000K dollars profits. <laughs> And I was watching with my account, like, am I a loser? <laughs> what, have, what is happening, you know? Because I wasn't seeing any any profits or anything at all. Mm. Yeah. And uh, do you have any daily routine that you're sticking to? Yes, I go to school. Mm -hmm. yeah, I go to school. Then I come from school. Maybe I take the trades that I have, have watched before. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to the gym. Mm -hmm. And then just as I just stay home or maybe go for a coffee with my friends and that's all i don't have any any beautiful routine you know <laughs> i mean that, going... that's also great <laughs> yes, yes, yes i think f staying physically active is very important to have a clear yes, mind yes. on charts yes and, uh, that's uh, that's for sure uh starting the gym has helped me uh with the trading too hmm. and do you have any favorite uh session that where, when you trade no 
not not at all. Not so you trade in all possible sessions? No, no, no. Uh, I trade um, my uh, routine of trading is like maybe at I started at nine, mm -hmm. and maybe I f sometimes I finish it at three o'clock or five o'clock, and then I don't do any trade. But okay. I do. I is do it about London time or what? Which time zone? London and New York. London and New York. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just it's about two trades a day. Not, not more. If I lose to trade, I close my laptop. If I win to trade, I close my laptop. That's all. And done for the day. <laughs> yes, yes. That's good. To limit ourselves so that we don't want to continue making uh, emotional this decisions. Day. Yes, emotional decisions. Yeah. And uh, do you have any favorite pairs? Are you focusing to trade like specific pairs or you trade like... I trade only four pairs. Mm -hmm. It's Euro USD. Mm -hmm. GBP USD, mm -hmm. uh, Australian Australian dollar, uh, Canadian dollar, and US dollar, Canadian dollar. Okay, and uh, how did you choose them? Uh, I just like the pairs uh, over the years that I'm trading them, so I just stick with them. You kind of learn their movement. <laughs> yes, yes, and I know the prices where they are, so I don't have to go every day and check the prices where it is. And so yeah, it's good. According to me as well, it's good to stick to like less pairs so that you can stay focused. Focus. Yeah, yes, yes. The fo focus is important in trading, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, what are your future goals? Where do you see yourself in five years hmm. with uh, trading and in life in general? I don't really, I don't really think about it in five years. You know, I just take it one step at a time. Mm -hmm. That's that's how I think it. So for me, it's just to to improve every day. Mm -hmm. And I don't because if I say what I'm going to do in five years, or when I see myself, it's just dream. You know, mm -hmm. if you don't put into work, nothing will happen. And you can dream every day if you want, but of course. <laughs> <laughs> no. So that's my opinion. On that. Do you think that it's important to have another source of income with trading? Yes, sure. Yes, sure. Uh, since you're not proven to be a profit profitable trader or you have results, uh, I think you should have a second job. You know, because you have to you have to eat at the end of the day. So <laughs> <laughs> you you need it. Yeah. yeah. When you start to see profits. That are, that are worth it. Maybe then you should you should quit, or maybe you can quit. Yeah, I mean you have to have peace of mind to be able to perform good on the charts. Yes, sure. Yeah. Any advice to new traders? Advice for me, a piece of advice that I would give to new traders is easy. Just take your time to learn it. Don't rush anything. Everything comes with time. You have to put into work, to discipline. Just wait for the results. You know they will come. If you put into work, they will come. Yeah, There's nothing. Give up. <laughs> yeah. There's no magic, let's say. Yeah, it's like just consistency and hard work. Yes. And discipline. Yeah. And do you have any other last words that you would like to share with us? Just just be safe and put your stop loss tight. <laughs> 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 thank you so much for being here it, it has thank been you. a pleasure thank you for sharing your experience with us and uh, I hope to have a follow up soon <laughs> with, thank with you bigger thank you account and bigger payout <laughs> thank you very much thank you very much thank you for having me thank you so much for watching that's all for today's interview and don't forget to hit the like button comment down below hit the subscribe button and the notification button if you haven't done that yet stay safe and uh, hope to see you in the next one